Aloha, friends. It's uh, Game Time with the Goss, powered by Grey Wolf Promotions. I'm your host, Brian Gossett, with GM Sports Media. Uh, my guest today is uh, Melissa Catcher, uh, class of 2027, Hudson Adrian. Uh, she just wrapped up her freshman year uh, as a state champion in Class 5A with the Melissa Cardinals. And she also hit 22 home runs, which is a new single season record in the DFW Metroplex. Uh, Hudson, uh, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Awesome. Um, you know, <clears throat> I know you also go by Lulu. Um, just saying Hudson is kind of uh, kind of weird for me because I always refer to you as Lulu. Um, just where did Lulu come from and uh, how long have you been called Lulu? It's been probably like, I don't know, seven years, but it just kind of came. My dad just started calling me it one day. It wasn't like really from like anything special or anything, but it just kind of stuck. So, yeah, you guys just coming off a state championship. First first time on program history for Melissa softball. Um, you guys dominated the tournament, the two games against uh, Lake Belton and Hollerton South. Just what was that moment and fe feeling like of uh, finally getting this goal and, and bringing home a gold medal? It just felt really good. We worked really hard all season, and um, going into the tournament, we knew Lake Belton especially was going to be a super tough game to get by, but we played really good that game. Our pitching was super good. We had very timely hits, and um, – it was just super exciting for it all to come together and um, really rewarding. Had you ever been on that field at UT, maybe during the camp? Yes, I've been probably like five times. Okay. Yeah, I've I been there a good amount of times, so it was nice to know where I was playing in the area and stuff. Yeah, I had uh, your select teammate, uh, Avery Howerton on asked her the same thing about, uh, you know, because I know some players probably nerves kick in, you know, that's a big stage. But like you, she's played on that field before or been on that field before. So it kind of helped with the nerves. I mean, going in, was it was it still kind of uh, a little nerve wracking or or really not? A little bit. It wasn't like super but I get a little nervous before every game I just want to like do good and I want the team to do good but once like after we got there and we were warmed up it felt like normal and fine um so you're behind the plate you're catching um your pitcher Alex Starr you know she dominated as well she's uh I sent this out on Twitter before but I think she's the seventh player uh since 2011 to uh, win both games and not allow a run at the state softball tournament in all classes, which is, you know, obviously remarkable. But what's it like just catching her and uh, just kind of watching her do her thing there? I love catching Sar. She's very competitive. And she if she gets in a tough situation, she always but she is just super competitive and it shows on the field. Awesome. Um, so yeah, you just <laughs> incredible season. Um, you know, you're, you're just a freshman, but, uh, it's one of the best seasons I've seen in my 10 years. Again, 22 home runs, which is a record for the Metroplex. Uh, I think you had 60 or were close to 60 hits and then I think 64 RBIs. Um, well, I mean, just going into your freshman year, you know, um, what was your what were your expectations in at the start of the season? Um, honestly, one I wasn't expecting to do like what I did this season, but um, my actual my goal was five home runs <laughs> at the beginning of the season. Um. I had had kind of a rough fall coming into high school and then, but I worked really hard and our coaching is amazing. Cassie is a great coach and coach Mo and coach Clemens. They're all just amazing. Cassie prepares us 
uh, very much. And um, yeah. Five home runs, really? Yeah. I, well, I just wanted to be really realistic. And then I just <laughs> kept working hard. And <laughs> yeah. Then you just went off. Uh, I mean, yeah. As the season's going, uh, and you're obviously you hit five, and then ten, then fifteen. Are you? I mean, I I'm gonna say that you're uh, like most athletes, you're confident in yourself. But I mean, even reaching some of these numbers, are you just going? You know, how am I doing this? <laughs> yeah, it it is like surprising, but. I feel like when you put in the work and um, work hard, th like good things will happen. So I just feel like that's a product of what happened this season with me and with the whole team. We had like a very successful season and broke a lot of records in one state and stuff. Yeah, you guys finished so. with 90, 92 home runs as a team, which uh, is just absurd because that probably combined probably beats, uh, you know, a lot of teams in the in the state. Um uh, but 92 home runs is a record for um, a state record for home runs in a season by a team. And then what's crazy is not that you had 22 home runs, but uh, the top three home run hitters in DFW is all on Melissa on your team, you know, two your teammates. You all have 20 home runs, 20 plus with uh, Kenny Bradley and uh, Kagan Crabtree. They had 20 and 21 respectively. How did that kind of help you at the plate, uh, you know, kind of um, just them hitting home runs? You know, you kind of want to hit home runs too. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys are trying to beat one another or if you even bring it up, but um, how did that kind of help trying to stay in front of them? Yeah, it was honestly, like, it was really good for the whole team because it pushed everyone just to – um do better and like it was and I actually play with um Kennedy Bradley so um we have already we compete with each other all the time in select and it was just really good for um all three of us to compete with each other and um it just made all of us even better than we were I mean are you bringing it up when you know, uh, because you want to finish higher than them. Was that ever a conversation like, hey, you're catching me up. I need to uh, go out there and hit a couple of bombs. Yeah, it was a little bit. Um, we would joke around about it, be like, dang, like he, you just passed me up or <laughs> stuff like that. But it was always just a good competition. Um, and yeah. Did you feel like uh, Kagan was – gonna hit 22 there at, at state she almost caught you up I know she yes I was in the back of my mind she had a great state tournament she did so good and um she just worked so hard this season I was very proud of her especially since she got to hit I think she hit two home runs on um, Texas's field and she's committed there and me and her are really good friends so it was super exciting to see her do that and yeah yeah, Kagan, uh, Crabtree, shortstop, uh, was state champ MVP, two home runs, four RBIs in the title game against uh, Harlingen South. Uh, talking with uh, Lulu Adrian, uh, Melissa Catcher, 2027 class. Um, let's kind of just get to know you. Um, when did you start playing softball, and was catcher always your position? Um, I started playing when I was about four years old, and then I started catching when um, I was about 10. I actually went – I was not a catcher before that. I played, like, first and a little bit of third. And I went to a tryout, and they asked me – they were like, have you ever thought about catching? And I was like, no, not really, but, like, I would be good with doing that. Like, it sounded fun. So I started doing it, and I just really loved it because um, – when you're catching, you kind of control like the field a little bit and you're in every place. So it's really exciting. You never get like stagnant or kind of just standing out there. You just you're always a part of the game and it keeps you engaged. And that's why I really love catching. And you play for Texas Glory, uh, Shelton, which, again, I talked to your teammate, Avery Howerton, and 
even told her uh, that's such a stacked team. It seems unfair to the other teams in the area because you guys just – you guys are all so good. But um, how long have you been playing with Texas Glory? Um, About three or four years I've been with them. I've been playing with Avery um, and KB and all them for about three years. Um, how does that help on on select when you guys, um, you know, you guys are all starters at, in high school. You know, again, it's it's basically an all star team, um, it, very competitive. Just how does that help you? You know, whether you're on the uh, behind the plate or um, batting, just that competitive nature. How does that help with with you? Yeah, it just um really like pushes you to do better. There's on my select team, we have 18 girls. We have a lot of people. So there's never like a designated spot. Like you're always working for that spot and it just pushes you to be better for your team and like for yourself to get on the field. And um yeah, it's just really um exciting for us to have such a good team and be able to compete with each other. Uh, what's that pitching pitching uh, circle like? You know, you have Avery Howerton from Whitesboro. You have Bam Mowry from SNS, and you have uh, Maddie Doty from Grandview. Uh, I'm sure you have a couple more, but that's uh, that's going to be tough for other teams to face those three pitchers. Yes, it's um, we have a really stacked lineup for pitching. I think we have six pitchers. And um, it's just really exciting to work with them. I'm usually paired up with Dodie, and I've been catching her and all of them for a really long time. But it's just exciting to see them grow and, like, even, like, see them do good in front of, like, when colleges come watch us in the summer. And just, um, yeah, it's just exciting to see them grow and get better, um, especially since they came back from high school. We had our first tournament last weekend and getting to see how they've grown through high school and stuff like that. Um, I don't think you had a chance to see them. Maybe you did um, with Maddie Doty on Grandview and and uh, Avery with Whitesboro. They were both at the 3A state tournament there at UT as well. Um, you know, what's it like to kind of see the success from select teammates? Um, it's super exciting. Um, I was super proud of Dodie. They came back. This is their second year, I believe. And um, they did super good. And then Avery, it was their first time. And I think their program for going to state. And I was just super proud of them. Um, and it just brings like more light to our select team and to everyone in it. And it's just super exciting to see everyone have great success. I imagine there's like a text chain where you guys all text each other, maybe good luck. Yes, we do. We have group me and we were texting each other good luck and stuff like that and watching their games. They were some exciting games. I think they both, Dodie's in the championship, I think they went into extra innings and Avery and them went into um, extra innings too. So it was fun to watch the, those games. Yeah, uh, Grandview went to eight innings in the title game, and uh, Whitesboro went, I think, 11 in the semis. Um, and Doty hit a home run in, in the title game. And then mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw Avery's play, the do the uh, double play where she tags the runner out at home. Yes, I did see that. That was awesome. I At first, I thought she might have been a little hurt. She kind of had to, like, twist her back. But um, it was just it was kind of funny, to be honest, just like knowing Avery and like her. She's so goofy and nice and stuff. It was just funny. But it was an awesome play. And I was super excited for both of them. And and back to Texas Glory. But, you know, what's it like to be obviously your coach? You have great coaches with uh, Melissa, uh, with Cassie and her staff. Um, but then you, when you transition to summer ball, you know, Kevin Shelton is, you know, one of the best uh, coaches around. What's it like to have him as a coach and to be on an organization like Texas Glory? 
Yes, he's a great coach. He's very, he is a very, very smart person. And he just teaches you on every play. Like, there's always a way to be better. And um, I love that about him. He just really pushes us. And he sees, like, um, what we can always do better. And I think that pushes us to be even more better than we are already. Um, Because he always wants us to work on something. And, yeah. Awesome. Uh, talking with Lulu Adrian from Melissa. Um, again, DFW record, 22 home runs, uh, beating out the old record from uh, Morgan Holiday and uh, Sammy Hood from Grandview and Allen, respectively. Um, so what's what's got to be the code next year? Um, you're going to hit 23 now? I hope so. I um. I hope I do just as good as the season and um, just keep working hard and honestly try not to think about it too much and just um, go out there and play the best I can. But the goal would be to get 23 next year. And what, what are you thinking when, you know, you you have this record as a freshman? What's what's that mean to you? Um, It was very, like, exciting from – myself and I just feel like all of my hard work paid off and um it was just it's exciting for the whole team too like um everyone that had everyone had great success this season our pitchers our infield our defense was like locked down if the pitchers got a hit hit off of them we had an amazing outfield amazing infield and then our hitting was just awesome this season and it was just exciting for the whole team um, to come together and all of our successes come together and um, yeah. And then what's what's it like for next year? You guys are a very young team. You think you only lose one senior um, in your center fielder, Emily Johnson, but um, almost, I mean, everyone else returns. You have a lot of freshman starters on the team. Just, it seems like you guys uh, could go for back to back. Yeah, it's super exciting to see what we're going to do next year. I feel like, honestly, next year could be our strongest year just because um, we'll e be even better than last year. And we're, we only lose our center fielder, which is sad, but I'm going to miss Emily. I really loved her. She was a great leader on the team. But um, I feel like we're going to be even stronger next year, and um, it just gives – gives us even more high chances of making it back to state and possibly winning. And I'll get you out on this, Lulu, but um, is there someone, a college player, uh, that you kind of mold your game after, maybe a catcher or uh, maybe a power hitter? Um, Probably Kinsey Hansen. She's – I went to a camp one time, um, and she was there, and I just loved her mentality. She's um, very competitive, but she's kind of, like, calm behind the plate, and she's just so good, like, all the way around, hitting, on catching. She just um, is a big mentor, and I love watching her play. Lulu, um, thank you so much for, for joining me. Um, it was a great season. You know, me and uh, Kenny Matthews from Friday Night Glory, we – we enjoyed every step of the way and watching you, you know, hit hit your bombs and then obviously capped off at at State in Austin. It was it was a fun season and congratulations on all your success. Thank you for having me too. <laughs> awesome. All right, that's uh, Lulu Adrian, uh, Melissa, twenty twenty seven catcher. Um, again, thanks for for joining the show and thanks for tuning in. This is uh, Game Time with the Golf. Grey Wolf Promotions, if you want to check them out, best fan gear, uh, www.greywolfpromotions.com. I'm Brian Gossett with GM Sports Media, and uh, we'll see you next time.